Hi, my name is Ian Rich. I'm Max's father. I'm coming to plea for anybody with information. Please, please call the tip line. Let somebody know if you've seen anything, no matter how small the detail. Just please let them know. If you were there Saturday, please call the tip line so that the, thor the proper authorities can know how to get my son back safely. And I want to say thank you to all the law enforcement and the first responders, everyone out there searching. I appreciate everything you're doing. And I just want my little boy back. Uh, I said I would take some questions. He, was, he, he initially took off just a little ways, maybe 25, 30 feet from me, and then he went to a major sprint after that, and that's whenever I took off running after him. I was giving him just a little leeway, freedom. He likes playing outside. He enjoys the outdoors, so I just wanted him to have fun. How long, how long before you began to worry? I started worrying once I got back and didn't see him anymore, and once I got to where the office is, you can see that there's the parking lot right there, and you can still go around the lake. So once I could not see him anymore, that's when I got scared. So you have a history of running away? Did you have a history of wandering He usually runs, but he'll slow down or, or stop to give me a chance to go pick him up. I hope you go to the area. Did you go to Rachel Hicks Park a lot? Did that was our very first time of ever going there. Yes, we're trying to work through it together. We we talk here and there, bits and pieces, trying to get it all together. Can you share with us what exactly was going on between you and the other adult prior to him running off? We were all walking together. And once he started off a little bit, we just stayed back walking. And I could see him and main line of sight, no problem. It was a friend of mine. And what were they doing at the time? They were with me, walking right beside me. And once I started to go after him, I gave all the stuff in my pockets and ran after him. Did they help you look for him as well? Yes. What, we, what? The timeline we got from the authorities yesterday was that it could have been as much as an hour right. before 911 was called. Right. Do you now receive a call sooner? Yes. I mean, my initial thought was we were searching. I had park staff helping the search too so I felt like we could have found him and there was no reason to call the police until that time period then it got scary that we didn't find him. We were just going uh, he likes going outside so we go to different parks around him. Yeah, what would you tell just he likes running I I couldn't catch up with him I feel guilt for letting him get so far ahead of me before I started running after him a little bit Can you explain that I have diabetes and I have neuropathy in my feet so that causes a problem oh that's torture it's torture I I just want my little boy back home I want to know he's safe. I want to give him a big hug as soon as I see him. I want to give him a big hug. And I just want to know he's safe. If you can do anything from Saturday over again, what would you do? I would never let him get a head start on me. Was he in school? Was he from, from the area? Where did he live? Uh, he was going to school in Concord. And Ian, was uh, Max chasing after a jogger? We were hearing that he was trying to catch up with yeah, the jogger. As the jogger passed by us, that made him just want to start running. That's when he started to run. And then the people around you, how were they responding as you were trying to go after Max? We, I just took off after him. Everything else is a blur to me Did about you anybody else. Did you for help or? No. Why I, do you think, another question. Go ahead. Why do you think it's been so difficult to find him? I'm not sure. I don't know. I thought he would have been found the first day. It makes me just nervous worrying about where he's at now. Did you 
Can you share with the mic so how you speak? Yes. Can you share with how you speak? So is this normal? Not like this. He usually is not nowhere near this long. With Maddox's personality, what do you think is he doing right now out there all by himself with his family? I don't even know. I'm so worried because it's just been so long. He hasn't had any food or drink since Saturday, so I'm worried about if he's resourceful enough to even make it on his own like that. Because you, you, you said he was about 25 feet ahead of you. When did Lucky Jean bite something? Did Around on the other side of the lake. And you know your son best. Do you think it, with all this that he would have come out if he was hiding? It's hard to tell. I'm, I'm not really sure. Is there anything in the search that you think may make him scared, like the helicopters or the drone? I'm sure he's not used to all that noise. I'm sure. While Maddie you walked the drone, at any point did he acknowledge you or acknowledge that you were trying to help him? Oh, several times he would look back at me and he laughed like he normally does. He yeah. enjoys laughing at me, trying to catch up with him. Did that not slow him down at all as he was acknowledging? He would slow down a little and then pace himself back up. So he anticipated you to do that. He said as he got around the lake, was that going over toward the shooting range where he was going? No, it was going back towards the office where the boat landing is. So you guys were over over towards that way, is that right. where you were? And right. he was coming back towards the parking lot. Right. And he was so I understand was he might he be too distracted at any time and maybe thought it might expire or something? No. Or? Right. What do you think happened with the change? I'm not of sure. I'm not sure. We didn't Just have a lot of as, a, by the way. as a father, uh, how would you explain the last few days? It's been torture. I'm not eating, not sleeping. I'm just worried about getting my little boy back. Just a lot of tears? A lot of tears. It's day five now, and this is unusual. A lot of searches don't take this long. Right. What are you thinking? I'm worried. I thought after the first night, he would be found. If you could say something to him that he might hear today, what would you say to him? What would you give him? I would say, Maddox, M-A-D-D-O-X, I love you, buddy. Yeah, it's been very hard for Mr. Rich, so we thank you for being here.